Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's good to visit with you today. Avery and Marsh wrote a little song in 1972 that many of us know. It begins with a chorus and then goes into the verse. It says, I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is a people. You know, if we're honest, we sing that song and we get it right, but too often we mistakenly focus on the building as the church, rather than understanding that the church has been and always will be the people. The facility, the building, is the place where the church gathers. Now hold, hold that thought, and let's listen to some words from the writer of Hebrews in chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Now let's think about these two thoughts um, and put them together. We agree the church is the people. And the mission of the church is to nurture our relationship with God and each other. To bring people into a saving relationship with God. And then to love and care for our neighbor as ourselves. It's all about people and relationships. Now, I grant you, this may be a slightly oversimplistic description of the church, but it gets to the core of who we are and what we're to be about. Then the writer of Hebrew reminds us that the people, the church, you and me, we are supposed to be doing these things. We're to provoke one another to what? Love and good deeds. We're not to neglect meeting together and we're to encourage one another. The gathering of the people is important as it spurs, on, spurs us on to our mission and it helps us to support one another and to encourage each other. Excuse me. So my question to you today is how do we spur one another on to love and to do good deeds? How do we be that source of encouragement for each other? That question, I think, becomes even more challenging as we recognize that for many congregations, about half of the church is still worshiping online. And for those, that's all right. But it brings us to a new challenge for how do we care for those and connect with them for those that gather online. So let me think, share with you what I've been thinking about this week. See if it doesn't resonate with you too. First, I think it's really important for those who can to make returning to in-person worship a weekly priority. Now here's why I say that. Gathering together allows us to what? Build community as we meet and greet one another, as we update each other with what's happening in our lives, as we recognize in gathering that we're not alone in this journey through life. And sometimes it's challenging, downright frustrating. But together, it always seems like it's better as we have someone to walk with us. But it goes further than that. We never know when someone that we're, that's going through a tough time that we bump into as we gather for worship might need that day a conversation that will support them, encourage them, and maybe even offer you know, a, a thought that helps them figure out what their next step is. Or maybe we're the person struggling, maybe even feeling isolated. And it is in the gathering with our, and sharing with our Wesley Church family that we find out that we're what? That we're loved, comforted, and encouraged by each other. But that doesn't happen when we neglect meeting together as some people do. So I want to remind you of this truth. Your presence matters. And as we share, support, and encourage one another, we are the church in a very real and powerful sense. The second point is how do we better support and encourage one another with those who gather online? 
because they're just as much a part of us as those who gather in person. And I think it's an important growth point for many of the churches in our neighborhood, but across the country. The people of God need to come to terms with the fact that, that online gathering of the church is here to stay. It's not something that's going to go away. We here at Wesley acknowledge those that are present online, greet them in some fashion, but yet we know we can do better. Can we encourage these folks that gather online uh, through watch parties, chat groups, or offering more events, studies, or small groups to build community, enhance ministry with those online? I invite you to share with me any ideas you have that will build up our online community. I pray that this candid sharing will spur thought, dialogue, dialogue and new expressions of community and ways that we can encourage one another in person and online. And please, we also need to be mindful of those who we need to connect with that are not online and not able to gather in person. My friends, these are exciting times, they're new times, they're challenging times, and together as the church, we can move into the future. With God as our help, we'll meet these challenges and do well. Amen. A few things about things that are coming up. Uh, things are getting busier and want to make sure you're informed. Uh, Sunday night, we began our uh, fall Bible study, Invitation to John. Um, we meet on Sunday evenings from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Uh, there are 10 weeks left, and it's uh, offered via Zoom, uh, so it's an online class. And it's not too late to participate in the study. Please contact Jeff Miller if you would like to join our group. And there are more inf there's more details in the bulletin also. Saturday is our trustee work day. Please, uh, if you're able, come and join us. We need to replace some windows in the garage. There's some things that need to be spruced up on the grounds. Um, and there are just a variety of uh, small projects that, that with many helping hands, we can do quickly. We will begin uh, and gather at eight o'clock and um, say we would appreciate, appreciate your help in giving our building and grounds a fall facelift. There's going to be a special church conference for Wesley United Methodist Church uh, on Tuesday, September 21st at 7 p.m. in the fellowship hall. The purpose of this special meeting is to, is to act upon the recommendation of the church council to conduct a combined annual and debt reduction campaign in the spring of 2022. And finally, there's a fall festival on September 25th. In the morning, there'll be a vendor yard sale from nine to one. And then at five o'clock, we'll have a traditional potluck dinner Hamburgers and hot dogs will be provided. And will also be games, activities, music, and much more. Please join us for this fun day at Wesley. Let us close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, help us to make sure we don't neglect gathering together as some may do. Whether we gather in person or online, help us find ways to love, support, and encourage one another. It will look different, and that's okay. Help us to be the church, people caring for one another and sharing the love of Jesus with others. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon, and may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong. Stay safe.